Welcome to a special Hollywood edition of Our World with Black Enterprise. She's one of the most popular young actresses working today. Raven Simone is our headliner. And we'll meet the dynamic duo behind the hot films This Christmas and Stomp the Yard. Plus, the voice and mind on the cutting edge of media. Lee Bailey is our slice of life. Welcome to this special edition of Our World with Black Enterprise. I'm Ed Gordon. We've come to the world-famous Rodeo Drive, where on any given day, you might see a movie star shopping. Unfortunately, some of those stars have become poster children for bad behavior. But we have an exception. She started acting at two, has a budding movie and music career, and has starred in two hugely successful television shows. And she says... She's only just begun. Raven Simone is our headliner. I caught up with Raven Simone in the garden of the Beverly Hilton Hotel. The childhood star who America fell in love with as Olivia on The Cosby Show is now grown up. She's also starred in TV's The Cheetah Girls. Big screen hits like Dr. Doolittle with Eddie Murphy are on her resume. And she's about to hit theaters again with Disney's Road Trip, co-starring Martin Lawrence, playing her father. And her new CD is due out in April. But it was the Disney phenomenon, That's So Raven, that made Simone an international superstar. The show is one of the most popular programs in the history of the Disney Channel. With all of this tremendous success, I wondered if there was a moment when she realized her life had changed. When I traveled to Paris and I saw a poster of myself, of just my face, like this, which I don't know why they picked that shot, we won't go there, but um, in a different country. I'd never been to a different country. And I saw it of the psychic girl. Raven Baxter, she's psychic, she can see the future. And there it was, and my dad said, please remember this moment, your life's gonna change. I was like, yeah, but dad, I've been in, I was, I did concentrated at Cooper, I did two albums prior to that, I know. He was like, no, it's a little different now. And it is a little different. And that, that's when it all, oh, it's changed. Let me see if, if I can take you back to a day that I remember vividly, I'm not sure that you do, because actually when we were done with the interview, I was talking to your dad. And he uh, told me he was really excited about this new project. And he said, it's about a girl who can see into the future. And we're really excited about it. And I'll be honest, when he told me, I thought, huh? I know. I thought okay. <laughs> Did you ever imagine it would have become this huge, huge international hit? Uh, international hit? No. In my own mind, I was like, this has to be amazing. Even if it, you know, it just is with the U.S., it has to be amazing. One, because the character that I chose, actually I tried out for a different character when it was called Absolutely Psychic and uh, it was the lead character, the girl who had the psychic, the girl who had the psychic powers. I tried out for the best friend who was Raven Baxter with no psychic powers. And I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to be the star if I'm not going to be able to have fun. So um, it switched over and it turned into that. I knew that I was going to enjoy myself to the utmost and when I do that, I tend to have really good luck. <laughs> Sorry, I have to focus on my designs. I had a vision that I'm going to meet a world-famous fashion designer and save the night. When? Mm? <laughs> Where? I don't know. <laughs> How? I don't know. You know, I, I knew it was going to be something amazing to me. How it turned out all over the world, not a clue. Do you like the idea that you have created an image that is so very squeaky clean, and I don't mean you as much as your characters. The idea that sometimes you have to combat that because people get confused between character and real life. Most definitely, but I think it... I, I don't try to fight it all the time. I think I, I enjoy the, the image that I put out there because it is a reflection of who I am. I do, I turn 22, so I do have my days, but those days aren't flaunted in the public eye. I have them behind closed quarters. Not that it's something that everybody should be worried about, but at the same time, I think it's very important 
that it's known that the same values that I put on TV or the same characters that I choose, every character that I choose is a part of me, and that's how I am. I'm as crazy as that's a raven is. I have my days, you know. <laughs> also, I always say this. I know who I am, but I don't believe in who I am. I think if you believe in the hype of what everybody's telling you, then you will tend to act how the Hollywood person should act. I know who I am, so therefore, you know, I know what I need to be doing. I know what my business entails and, and so on and so forth, but I'll never believe in it. I know it's just a facade. There. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the, the, the projects, the up, upcoming projects. Road Trip uh, with, with Crazy Martin Lawrence, correct? Yes. Yeah. It's a G-rated movie. Can we just say yay for Martin Lawrence for doing a G-rated <laughs> movie? Every time I tell somebody that, they're like, no. I'm like, yes. Okay. Yes. So um, it's a great father-daughter story. It really shows the dynamic between, I think, teenagers today and their fathers who, well, not just today, I think, in all generations. They just never want to let their baby go. It's like a four-star resort with, with, with some books and learning. Dad, just don't embarrass me, OK? Go, Cat. Number one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Singing still a big part of your life. I know that that was one of the other loves that you uh, ha had and have and have and have uh, released uh, a number of CDs, but have one upcoming, correct? I do. April 22nd, my album Raven Simone will be coming out. Um, it's it's interesting. Uh, for my last albums, I was very involved with them. My father was involved, and they didn't do very well. Let's just keep it honest. They didn't sell. But with this one, I sat with them and I said, I only have a couple of stipulations. The words mean something and will elevate children's kids, families' minds, and no cussing no sex, no drugs, and also something that I can dance to. And I left the room. I let them do what they needed to do. How have you, you know? averted those pressures uh, beyond just your, your parents and the people who surround you? Because I know your parents, so I know they've been very involved throughout. But a lot of that, most of that, quite frankly, especially now is you. How have you averted all of that? Um, I have dreams and I have goals. And I have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, and a 20-year plan. And I need to reach those. You know what I'm saying? I have I have things I need to do. I want to go public one day with whatever business I want to do. I want to be able to be wealthy, not just rich. I want to be able to have a loving family. I want all that. And um, being raised in Atlanta and not in Hollywood, I think I've been able to see how to get there without too much of a problem. Don't go away. We'll meet the dynamic duo behind the hot films This Christmas and Stomp the Yard. We don't ever want to feel like we're selling out. But at the same time, we don't necessarily just want to make art for art's sake, because if it doesn't make money, we can't stay in business. Our headliner has been brought to you by Chevy, an American revolution.